Hello, this is Patrick Stewart from the Customer Insights Engineering Team. Today I'm going to walk you through how to install the Dynamics 365 Customer Insights Customer Card into your Dynamics 365 Customer Engagement application. Before we get started, I'd like to say thank you to my colleague, Chef Emmanuel Karim, for designing this tutorial. The Customer Card for Dynamics 365 is made available through Microsoft App Source. To install the customer card, log in to Microsoft App Source with the admin credentials to your Dynamics 365 customer engagement application and search for Customer Insights. Once you find the application, click Get It Now to start the installation process. Once you select the environment and agree to the terms, AppSource is going to start the installation of the customer card into your Dynamics 365 environment. It is going to take a few minutes for the customer card to be installed, and you can track the status in the Manage Your Solutions page. Once the customer card is installed, you can start the configuration process. To configure the customer card, go into Settings, Solutions, in which you will find the customer card solution that was just installed. Now you will need to connect the Dynamics 365 Customer Engagement application with the Customer Insights environment. For this, log in with the credentials for your Customer Insights environment and select the corresponding Customer Insights environment from the dropdown. Now, from the list of attributes in the customer entity that is available in the above selected environment, pick the one that contains data for the Dynamics contact ID, which will be used for lookups. After this, save the configuration. After saving the configuration, go to the Administration Security menu option to provide access to all users who need to use the customer card. To do this, locate the user and click on Manage Roles. Based on what you want the user to do, you can either provide permission to view the card or customize the card. In this case, I have given the user permission to view and customize the card. Once this is complete, I can start customizing the form in which we want to show the customer card. Now click on Customize the System and find the entity called Contact. In this step, you have two options. You can either customize an existing form or create a new form. For this tutorial, I'm going to create a new form. Click on New, Main, Form. Once the form editor opens, I'm going to save this as a Customer Insights form. Now I'm going to start the customization process. From the Field Explorer, place any one of the fields onto the form. In this case, I'm going to place the Address 1 City field. Then I change the property for this field by clicking on Change Properties. In the Field Properties screen, go to the Controls tab and add a Demographics control. When you install Customer Insights Customer Card, you are installing numerous controls into the Customer Engagement applications. In this case, since I want to see the demographic data of the unified profiles, I add the Customer Insights demographic control, switch the control to be used for web, and press OK. Now repeat the same to get the unified activity timeline view of the unified profile. For this, I rename one of the existing sections to Customer Insights Timeline and add one of the fields from the Field Explorer. Now change the property of this field and 
and from the Controls tab, add Customer Insights Timeline Control. Switch the control to be used for web. Now click OK. Now click Save and Publish to publish this new form. Wait for the customizations to be published. Now navigate to your Sales Hub contact form. Now from the drop down, switch to the new form that we just published called Customer Insights. Now you will be able to see the demographics and timeline controls starting to load the data from Customer Insights. Once the data is loaded, you can see the unified demographic and timeline data populated for the contact from Customer Insights. Since I appended the demographics control to the existing attributes from CRM, the data from Customer Insights is appended to the data from CRM. Since this user has permissions to customize the form, I can add or remove attributes that are shown in this form to make the data that is made available more useful and actionable to the business users that are consuming this contact form. In a similar fashion, you can configure the measures or AI controls to start consuming these insights directly through your customer engagement applications. Okay, this is the end of this tutorial. We hope that you found this tutorial useful and hope you enjoy using Dynamics 365 Customer Insights.